You know who you remind me of, Gus? Hmm. A majestic lion with a mane, the king of the jungle, who just drank from an enchanting stream after devouring a tasty dinner? You kind of remind me of Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein? Why? His hair. His hair? There's a lot more to Einstein than his hair. Uh, Want to learn about Einstein? But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Who's ready to learn about Albert Einstein and his crazy hair? Let's go! Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, Germany on March 14th in 1879 to Jewish parents. Einstein was the oldest child and had a younger sister. Albert Einstein didn't speak until he was actually four years old, and it took him until the age of seven to stop repeating words and sentences over and over again. When Albert was about five, his father gave him a compass as a gift, and that was when Albert Einstein fell in love with physics. Einstein fell in love and was captivated by the magnets that would move inside of the compass. And he often thought about this when he was older and came up with his theories of relativity, which we will learn more about in a bit. Hey, guess what? Did you know that Albert Einstein didn't really like school too much, but he did really enjoy math and science? In fact, Einstein loved geometry and algebra, which he actually taught himself. His father owned an electronics company where Einstein learned a lot about science and, of course, electronics. And Einstein also admitted that an important moment when he was young was reading a book about geometry. When Albert Einstein was 15 years old, him and his family moved to Milan in Italy. When he was just 16, Albert Einstein published his first scientific paper on the force of magnetism. Hey, guess what? Did you know that before becoming a physicist, Albert Einstein trained to become a teacher? But when he couldn't find work as a teacher, Albert Einstein decided to obtain a PhD in physics. In the year 1896, Albert Einstein was accepted into the Swiss Federal Polytechnic School in Zurich, Switzerland. Hey, guess what? Einstein actually failed the entrance exam, but they accepted him because of his remarkable math results, but required that Albert also went to high school and finished his traditional schooling. And he obtained his degree in the year 1905 which is the same year known as Albert's Year of Miracles because he published four groundbreaking papers in just one year. Hey, guess what? In 1911, he was invited to the very first ever World Physics Conference. He was the youngest person there. <laughs> Albert Einstein is probably most famous for his theory of relativity. And this is the formula E equals mc squared, which was part of Einstein's general theory of relativity, which he continued to work on for the next decade. It was actually Albert Einstein's theory of relativity that helped scientists to understand how our universe works. So you may be asking, what does E equals mc squared mean? I thought it was E equals mc2. What's the two? Oh, wait, is the two squared? Yeah. Oh, he's so smart. Like times two squared. <laughs> e equals mc squared actually explains how gravity works. E stands for energy, m stands for mass, and c stands for the speed of light. What it means is that an object has the same amounts of energy and mass and that energy can move at the speed of light. So you see, if you know the mass of any object, well, you also know the object's energy because it's the same exact amount. 
large objects like the Earth bend space, and that space pressing down and keeping us on the ground is called gravity. But now, if you go even further to our Sun, well, the Sun causes space to curve, which makes the Earth rotate around the Sun. And believe it or not, just like space can be bent, time can be bent as well. Basically, huge objects like planets can bend the space around them as they travel in our solar system. And these bends in space cause the gravitational pull towards our planet or the planet. It may sound confusing, but when Einstein published his complete theory in 1915, it wowed the entire world. Wow! And then, in the year 1919, Albert Einstein's theory was actually proven correct with an experiment. And Einstein became famous overnight. And suddenly, Albert started to receive invitations to go all over the place as well as earning honors from all over the world. And Albert Einstein even won the Nobel Prize in Physics in the year 1921, which is an award for people who have done meaningful work in science, literature, economics, or world peace. Albert Einstein moved to the United States in 1933 when the Nazis took power in Germany. He never returned. He lived in the town of Princeton, New Jersey, and spent years as a mathematics professor at Princeton University. Hey, guess what? Einstein was also a great musician. When he discovered the music of Mozart, he fell in love with music and started to play the violin. As an adult, Albert Einstein was very disorganized and would constantly forget appointments. His brain was so complex, it was a bit all over the place. And many times, his lectures were tough to understand. Einstein is sometimes called a mad scientist because of his disorderly appearance with crazy hair, and he also didn't wear socks with his shoes. Einstein published more than 300 scientific papers and over 150 non-scientific works and received honorary doctorate degrees in science, medicine, and philosophy from many different universities. Albert Einstein died on April 18th in 1955 at the age of 76 from heart failure. After he died, Einstein's brain was removed and preserved for research to see if there was a reason for his genius. You know, they actually might do that to me. Really think that. Well, they probably would only find mashed potatoes in my head. <laughs> and in the year 1999, Albert Einstein was named Person of the Century by Time Magazine. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about Albert Einstein. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.